I'm Jerry Herbst. We're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of how to measure nozzle pressure. There's a couple different ways to measure nozzle pressure. First thing we have to figure out is what type of nozzle we're utilizing. In this case, we're utilizing a smooth bore, so we can use a pitot gauge to measure tip pressure to make sure we're at the flow objective that we're monitoring. In this case, the team will use the pitot and put it into the center of the stream of our 7 8 The pitot gauge is designed to go in at 90 degrees in the center of the stream. The velocity of the water is the most in the center of the stream put the blade about half the distance away from the face of the tip size. So in this case, it's a 7 8 so we're roughly 3 8 of an inch off. We take a look at our gauge. We're at 50 PSI, it corresponds to our flow. We prefer using a digital gauge as opposed to an older liquid-filled analog gauge or gauges that can be impacted by atmosphere. They're much more accurate. If, in fact, we were measuring nozzle pressure on a combination nozzle, the team would have to transfer away from the pitot, which won't work on a broken stream, and will utilize the line gauge behind the nozzle to ensure the combination nozzle is at 50 PSI base nozzle pressure. In this case, we're utilizing a 160 at 50 combination nozzle, which will show the same flow as our 7 8 Gauge is showing 50 PSI base nozzle pressure corresponds with 160 gallons a minute on our flow meter. Measuring nozzle pressure is a critical component in the testing of the entire system. It's done differently depending on the type of equipment that you use. You have to make sure that you've got the equipment needed to do it accurately.